Hello everyone. In today's video, I will explain all the magic item in this game. There are a total of 16 magical items available, and they have their unique passive and stats. If you want to gain the item knowledge, which item are good for each hero and what to build in different situation, watch this video till the end. So without further ado, let's get to the main topic. Scepter of Reverberation is suitable item for burst damage heroes. It has 240 magic attack and 7% movement speed as base attribute. Its unique passive deals small-scale explosion damage when skill hits a target. This item is good for heroes like Angela, Mai Shiranui, Daji, and another burst type hero. It needs to be equipped at early game for better output. Savant's Wrath is a universal item for all the mages. It has 240 magical attack as base attribute, and its unique passive increases magical attack by 30%. You can build this item on any mages, and it will boost magical attack greatly. It's a mid-game item, which means you can equip it at 3rd or 4th slot of the build. Mask of Agony deals extra damage based on enemy's HP percentage. It has 120 magical attack, 5% cooldown reduction, and 800 max health. Its unique passive deals magical damage equal to 3% of target's HP, up to 4 times over 3 second period. It is good for continuous damage dealing and poke damage. It's a very good item for Zhou Yu. His skills works well with this item. It's an early game item, so you need to equip it at 2nd or 3rd slot of the build. Twilight Stream boosts Magical Pierce. It has 140 magical attack, 10% cooldown reduction, and 500 max health. Its passive increases Magical Pierce up to 10 stacks. Dealing damage to enemy heroes increases the number of stacks and boost magic damage. It is good for continuous damage dealing mages. It's a mid-game item, so you need to have other magical items to see the output of the damage. Void Staff is the item you need against tanks. It gives 240 magical attack and 500 max health as base attribute. Its passive is called Devastation, which increases magical pierce by 45%. It is very effective against tanky heroes and magic defense items. Buy this item if enemy buys Succubus Cloak. Remember, Void Staff is a late game item and it should be at 5th or 6th slot of your build. Insatiable Tome is a magic lifesteal item. Base attribute contains 180 magical attack, 10% cooldown reduction, and 1000 max health. Its unique passive Bloodthirst gives you 25% magical lifesteal. It's a good item for Kong Ming, Mai Shiranui, and other sustainable mages. Because of the base cooldown reduction and max health attributes, it makes the hero more sustainable in the battlefield. Holy Grail is focused on mana and HP region. If your hero is too much mana dependent in the early game, you should use this item. It has 180 magical attack, 15% cooldown reduction, and 25 mana recovery per second. Its unique passive mana spring recovers 1% mana per second. If the mana is full, it will recover 1% health per second. This item is very suitable for heroes like Sunbin, Mozi, Little Loot, and other mana dependent heroes. It's an early game item, and you should equip it as first or second slot of the item. Golden Blade is a basic attack focused item. It gives 20% attack speed, 160 magical attack, and 5% movement speed. It has two unique passive. First one is called Precision. It increases basic attack by 60, and other passive is called Excalibur, which increases basic attack speed by 10% for 5 seconds when it hits a target. It stacks up to 2 times and basic attack deals extra 30% damage. This item is suitable for heroes like Eren and Miyue, but they are not available in the game yet. If they're available in the future, you should equip this item at early game. Stave of Sorcery enhances basic attack when you use a skill. It contains 180 magical attack, 500 max mana and health, and 8% movement speed. Its passive savagery enhances basic attack after using a skill for 5 seconds. Enhanced attack deals 30% physical and 70% magical as extra damage. This item is good for heroes like Mai Shiranui. Also Si Kong Jen, Sima Yi are very suitable for this item.
Augur's Word's passive Valor's Gift restores 20% mana and health each time you level up. It has 140 magical attack, 500 mana, and 800 health. Other passive augury increases physical and magical defense based on 40% magical attack. Notice the physical and magic defense. After equipping Augur's Word, physical and magic defense will be increased. It is a great item for Diao Chan and Chemist. Because of their aggressive playstyle, this item is very suitable for them. It is recommended to equip this item at early game to get benefits of its passive. Ardent Dominator will trigger a shield when your health falls quickly. It has 200 magic attack, 600 mana, and 15 mana regen per second. Its passive mana shield will trigger a shield when your HP falls below 30%. It will remove all kind of control effect and increase your movement speed for a short period. It has a 90 second cooldown to trigger again. It is a great item for resisting surprise blow or gank attack. This item protects you from burst damage. Breakthrough Robe reduces close range damage. It contains 160 magical attack and 1000 max health. Its passive works when you're closer to the attacker. The closer you are to an attacker, the lower damage you take. It will increase up to 5% damage reduction depending on your distance. Also it will increase another 20% of damage reduction based on your magical attack. It's a great item for Diao Chan. Her playstyle matches the passive of this item. It's a very specific item, so it works only for some heroes. Frozen Breath will add a slow effect when a skill hits a target. It has 160 magical attack 5% cooldown reduction and 600 max health. When a skill hits a target, its passive Deep Freeze will reduce target's 20% movement speed for 2 seconds. Second passive Frostbite will increase damage to the slowed down enemies. It's a great item for slowing down enemies, and it works well with all the mages. Venomous Staff reduces enemies' HP regen. It is one of the important items for the mages. It has 240 magical attack, 5% cooldown reduction, and movement speed. When a skill or basic attack hits an enemy, its passive imperiled will reduces their HP regen and lifesteal by 50%. It's a must-have item when enemy lineup has little loot, beyond K, and other lifesteal heroes. You should buy this item at early to mid stage of the game. It works very well against high HP regen heroes and lifesteal heroes. So remember to buy this item when you face such situation. Splendor is the life-saving item for mages. It has 160 magical attack and 10% cooldown reduction. This item doesn't have passive like other items. It has an active skill called Moonguard. This active skill will appear on screen as a usable skill. By pressing this skill, will make the user untargetable for 2 seconds. Within this period, user cannot move or use any skill. It's a very useful item for surviving ganks and other surprise attack. You cannot use this skill if you're stunned or get controlled. Overall, it's an important late game item for all the mages. Tome of Wisdom is the ultimate magic item of this game. It gives 400 magical attack and 10% cooldown as base attributes. It's passive enlightenment. Increase the damage by 12% based on your magical attack. With these high attributes and stats, this item cost almost 3000 gold. This item is for the very late game situation, and it's often equipped at the 6th slot of the build. It requires very high total gold to equip this item, and for the price, it delivers very high magic damage. For the most situation, you don't need this item because gold to performance ratio, this item doesn't stand very well against other magic item. So if you're feeling very confident and bold, you may use this item. And that's all the magic items of Honor of Kings. Some of them are very useful and important. Also, there are some situational and hero-specific items available. Now you have the better idea of the items and their use cases. And that's it for today's video. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching.